And that essentially includes anything that could go wrong with the mouth all the way to the anus. And also the other accessory systems that also help food digest or cause abnormalities in food digestion. If somebody has an ulcer in the stomach that is just not responding to medical treatment, so that would be one kind of aspect of gastrointestinal disease. We may need to actually address that surgically. Or if they have, say, a benign or a malignant disease of the stomach, so gastric cancer. There are other conditions of the stomach, such as gastroleomyomas, which are abnormalities in the muscles, the way they're forming in the stomach. Moving down into the small intestine, they can have masses in the small intestine. We may or may not know what these are, and we may need to actually remove these. This also includes other organs like the pancreas, the gallbladder, because all of these help in that food digestion. And sometimes we find masses on these organs that we may need to address surgically. But not only this, also moving down kind of the other end. So diseases of the colon, diseases of the rectum, which is one of the commonest things I mean, we see. So we see things like bleeding from the colon and the rectum, and we need to make sure these are not masses or cancers. If they are, then obviously they need to be addressed surgically. It's a wide variety of diseases, but because it's one continuous functional system, every part has an influence on the next. And so they really need to be addressed in one overall patient-centered approach. So we always start with medical therapy. And if that doesn't work, then we may need to actually move on to surgical treatment. And I utilize what's called minimally invasive techniques. The reason why minimally invasive is kind of the buzzword nowadays in surgery is because it helps patients recuperate much faster. Well, we certainly get the patients up and walking the same day of the surgery. And in the vast majority of instances, they get to go home the next day. One of the most important things about patient care is to really have, number one, an educated patient who understands why are we approaching their condition, you know, going from A to B to C, whereas they may have heard that their neighbors, we approach it from A to C to B. Because we have a multidisciplinary approach here, so difficult diseases, we actually discuss it amongst not just surgeons, but we discuss it among gastrointestinal um, GI doctors, as well as internal medicine. And sometimes if we need to get the oncologist involved, we actually have conferences where we discuss these cases together and come up with a plan for the patient. And then make sure that the patient understands the plan. And then we have the patient buy into the plan because that's the most important thing. And then we can move on to the treatment. So that really makes this place very unique because in Memorial we do approach every patient individually. In a lot of cases we need to tailor the plan, treatment plan, for each patient individually. 